back inside the Phil Sports Arena in the heart of Pasig City as Triple Treat Saturday continues. Signal winning over Nextled in three sets earlier, straight sets. Petrogas had a stubborn Akari Chargers earlier, winning in four sets, which brings us to our third game of our triple header tonight, Saturday. And that will be an all important game, especially from the guys known now as the Streak Busters, the Cherry Tigo crossovers, as they go up against a team that we will tonight call the Spoilers. The F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. All in high definition on One Sports Plus, and of course, all over the world via the Filipinas Live app. I'm Boom Gonzalez. Franny Reyes will tell some stories at courtside, a lot of the inside stuff that we want to know, and Jamie LaVittoria will be breaking down the game, giving us the nuances of this matchup, and of course, the importance of this matchup. Jamie, especially because of what has happened and what has transpired in our first two games. That's right, the Cherry Tigo crossovers are firing in all cylinders, well-oiled machine. Wow. Now, to think that they got eighth in the Invitational Conference, you see that there's much improvement by the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Now, in terms of F2, they are still trying to find their groove. Coach Red just slowly, constantly shuffling their players as we see the current standings on your screen. Greenline and Chaco Mucho have secured that semi spot. As for Cherry Tigo, they need to win this match today in order to get that spot. Now, Signal needs to win one more game against the Jura Floor Defenders. And we just witnessed the Petrogas Angels defeating Akari in four sets. Now, we cannot underestimate the F2 logistics. They are going up against the Cherry Tigo crossover. Still need to find that groove, but let's find out how they will win today. All right, so a lot happening in the biggest conference of the PVL so far. This is, of course, the second all the Filipino conference of 2023. A lot happening on the Cherry Tigo side. Very, very important match. And I'm sure that girl on your screens knows the importance of this game. She knew the importance of the last game and all the other previous wins that they've had, which is right now standing at five. And they're going for the all-important six because they want a semi-slot, a very first semi-slot for the I keep forgetting. The rookie, <laughs> Laure. That's right. The heart and soul of the Cherry Tigo crossovers. And to think this is her second conference in the pro. She's playing like a vet, playing with no fear. Movements are more polished and is a solid source of points for her squad. Now, against the Signal HD Spiker, she was actually had a slow start in the beginning, Correct. but when push comes to shove, Aya Lauer delivered in the fourth and fifth set. And we are sometimes often, we sometimes overlook the other aspects of her game because she's such a tremendous force offensively. But of course, her digging, her receiving, her serving as yep. she is number one. And by the way, the winning serve came from her in that all-important match. That's right, an ace against, uh, well, to get their fifth straight win the last time out. On the other side of the net, it is extremely hard when you're already out of it and you have to muster all the energy to try to win a match. And that's why your captain has to be on top of everything. And she's very much capable of doing it. She's everybody's captain, as everyone calls her, Abby Maraño. That's right. Being the vet that Abby is, Maraño is one of the spikers that has been stepping up, scoring nine points against the Chocomucha Flying Titans, most of which came from her classic running attack. But not only does Abby lead by example, Maraño is also that emotional leader, being that ate on the court. Exactly and boosting the morale of her team. Now, Beast Mode don't care. Abby Maranio is definitely needed in today's match if they want to prevail. I mean, I, I'm not playing the game. When I watch her, I want to get in there. <laughs> I'm just so pumped up because that's what she's been doing all throughout the years of playing the sport of volleyball as a college player, as an amateur player, and now as a professional. All right, let's talk about right now our PVL Premier Spotlight and this matchup I love because we've been seeing this matchup even in the UAP. They won championships at each other's expense. This is a great matchup, especially because of They've been, they are in form the last couple of games, Jamie. That's right, this is in a very exciting matchup going up against each other. These players are very familiar with each other's 
weaknesses and strengths. Now for Cesar Robles, usually coming off the bench, but she is delivering. Very crafty with her attacks and outsmarting the block of her opponents. Now on the side with Jelena De La Cruz, she had a career high of 30 points against Signal, doing the heavy lifting for F2, but it cannot just be a one-man show. She does need help from her squad. Yeah, that 30 points. Before that, she had 27 yeah, points. Wow. She has been on fire. And of course, Cesar Robles in tandem with Aya Laure. Off the bench, they sit down EJ Laure. Aya, uh, she comes in, and the game changed after that, as Cesar Robles providing a major spark for Cherry Tigo in that last one. And she, they will be uh, spotlighted and highlighted in this match. We can't wait to see them in action. We can't wait to see these two teams in action. And we can't wait to find out more stories, of course, from Franny Reyes, because she always digs in, especially with these teams playing right now. Yeah, Boom, I'd actually like to add to that. You know, we've seen Cesar Robles step up in place of EJ Laura. And EJ actually told me, Ah, yeah, and yes, he says, because she knows what Cess is doing is what the team needs, and it clearly has been working. But I'd like to talk also about Zakarandang. We talked about that five setter they had um, last Tuesday, and she told me how important it was that they celebrate each point and feel all the emotions because that's how they hype each other up. And that's actually something that Abby Marano told me she wanted to feel more of from her teammates. She wanted to see that swag and that confidence because their body language language has been stiff, they've had low energy, but if they show up with those emotions, she knows their full potential will come out. But most importantly, she'll know that her teammates are enjoying Sabinyanaman. She really is the emotional leader of this team. And speaking of Abby Marano, we got to listen in on a heart to heart between her and her longtime competitor and friend Mylene Paan. This is Heart to Heart. Hindi ako nagtanong na to, ha? Ito talaga yung tanong nila. Hindi mo maalala? Ano ba yan? Bagong revelation, ha? Oh. Sige, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Ang asin. Heart to heart. Uy, <laughs> malayo mo. <laughs> ano yung pinaka-memorable na moment natin na magkasama? Nagka-COVID ako, tapos <laughs> kasama kami sa bahay. Nung nagkasakit ako, Si Akla ang nagluluto ng pagkain sa akin. Ngayon, ang pinaka hindi ko makakalimutan is sabi niya, buksan mo yung pintuan. O, konti lang, sabi niya, konti lang. Pag open ko ng ganyan, ginulong yung mga itlog na nilaga niya. Nilaga. Gumugulong yung itlog dun sa floor ng kwarto ko. Bali-bali talaga to si Sister. Ay, para sa iyo paano ka pa pwedeng mag-improve on the court? Ano, pinaka gusto kong i-workout talaga yung receive para if ever man pwede akong makatulong kahit sa receive. Yes, yeah. correct. Receive ganyan-ganyan. What sets you apart of other mm -hmm. ano outside eater kasi usually ang, ang stereotype pag ano outside eater or opposite eater di po nga pasa. Uh, Yun yung lagi kong yeah. sinasabi sa iyo dapat kakaiba ka. Mm. Anong advice ang mabibigay mo sa akin sa pagiging leader? Huwag kang mag-pressure, ilaro mo lang yung laro mo. And don't try to play na ilalagay mo yung shoe mo sa mga teammates mo. Kaya mo lang din sila ang magagawa yung ginagawa nila. Kasi as a leader, pag nakita nilang maganda yung pinapakita mo, susunod lang yun. Everything will just follow. Gaano ka halaga para sa'yo yung friendship natin? Alam mo yung gem na hindi ko kayang ibenta sa iba? <laughs> yes, may mga bagay talaga na ano, uh, walang katumbas. Walang katumbas. Walang halaga. And parang magkasama na tayo since birth. Mm -hmm. Yung lagi nating sisters talaga. Uh, yung lagi nating sinasabi na magkapatid tayo from mm -hmm. another mother. From another mother. And <laughs> And ayun, sobrang 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 halaga mo sa akin, sis. Thank you, sweet. Wala akong tatumbas as in. That's a wrap. Ay, ang taas ng hagis mo. <laughs> ano, take to ka pa? <laughs> Walang katumbas ang friendship ni Chang Abi at ni Mama P. And Chang Abi actually told me we should look forward to their swag off later in our match tonight. Now, of course, we do have a very lively fan base and we have our Filipinas Live poll question of the game, which is which player will be the most versatile all-around player in tonight's match? Ooh. We have a couple of choices for you guys. Okay. Ea Laure, Mylene Paat, Ara Galang, Ivy. Laxina, actually anyone yeah. on any of these teams could really step up and be that versatile player, don't you think, Boom? I love that question. And we got many, many candidates today. Yes, you were laughing. Why were you oh, laughing? I want to answer Franny's Please question. Go. Well, 
Out of the four of all the qualities it takes to be a good spiker, whether it's blocking, receiving, or digging, all the four players that you mentioned, Franny, have somehow contributed in a variety of ways for their squad. So, safe answer, all four of them. And my <laughs> most versatile player is Jamie Lavitor. Ang haba-haba. Wala rin pala sinagot. you. All right. You. Let's get out of here before we get hit by a ball. It is Jerry Tigo with an all-important win today to enter the semis, while F2 is looking to spoil the party. This is all live on Pilipinas Live. Presenting our national officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Fernando Velarde. Second referee, Mr. Bobby Celso. Let's welcome our starting lineup from our Cherry Tigo crossovers. Let's begin with our team captain. She wears jersey number nine, Energy Laure. At number two, Jasmine Nabor. Wearing jersey number seven, Mylene Paat. At number eight, Eya Laure. Number 16, Zarina Grace Carandang. And number 22, Pauline Marie Gaston. Starting libero is number 25, Budin Duremdes. Head coach, Mr. Kung Fu Reyes. Calling on our F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Let's begin with their team captain. She wears jersey number two, Abigail Maranio. At number one, Marion Angelique Alba. Wearing jersey number three, Ivy Keith Laxina. At number four, Victor Nara Galan. Wearing jersey number eight, Jolina De La Cruz. And at number 10, Mary Joy Baron. Starting libero is number five, Don Nicole Makandili Katindig. Head coach, Miss Regine Diego. 
This match is under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusement Board. Starting lineup for the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Who, by the way, let me correct myself. I said five game winning streak, a six game winning streak right now after the big win the last time out against the Signal HD Spikers. So their streak was busted. As we look at the starters, start a new way to watch the PVL via Filipinas Live app for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos only. And of course, the starting lineup for the F2 Logistics cargo movers who were coming off their best conference uh, yeah. in the Invitational, bagging uh, the, the bronze. But unfortunately, hounded by, uh, you know, injuries. And also, we have to give credit, Jamie, the other teams also really got better, either got better or, um, you know, added some weapons in their teams, and that just makes the competition even tougher here in the PBL. That's right. I was actually curious as who the first six of the F2 cargo movers were today, because against their last match, Coach Reg actually maxed out her substitutions that match, and I feel like that is hindering them from getting those games because they don't have that solid first six. Well, solid was that first block by Majoy Baron getting a point for F2. You're your cherry, you need this win because uh, you got some two tough assignments yep. coming up, which are the uh, Chocomucho Flying Titans and, of course, uh, the Green Line Cool Smashers. They already knew that the schedule, obviously, was going to yes. be this. They, these were the tougher teams. Petrogas, Signal, and all that. And they passed the test so far. And a couple of them were come from behind victories, too. But they cannot relax today. They cannot think that, oh, the team that we're going up against, you know, uh, are just going to play ranking. spoilers. Yep. Yes, because they are a proud bunch, proud franchise. And you're the one, the pressure is on you, actually. It's on Cherry, win, right? yep. Can't underestimate also Ivy Laxina. She's currently number two in blocking. I think right. Nabor will have to have some good strategy here and avoid actually the hands of Ivy Laxina. So I think most of the attacks will probably be on that left pin. Let's see how it unfolds. Ivy Laxina, really great pickup for, for F2, even from an offensive standpoint. 12.4 points a game. Number two in blocking, as you mentioned. Shalina on fire as of late. The boar goes to EJ, wanted to go out. She is asking for a check. She thought there was a check. Coach Kunku will give us our first challenge of the day. You would think that it's too early to call a challenge, but Coach wants to get this win. He wants to secure it. Yeah. How important the match is for the black shirts. Or, or maybe he called the, the challenge just to, <laughs> to, talk, to talk to the girls. You know, me, I, we joke about it, but and we talked about this in the production room. Me and Ish, if it were possible to award the player of the game the last time out against Signal to Coach Kung Fu, he would have gotten it because Cherry in that game against Signal looked like they were a defeated team already yep. at some point and looked like and Coach Kung Fu called a timeout and was just lashing at them, no technical, no schematic. It was yep. just appealing to their fight, their competitive nature as there is Talk a check. Touch, yep. um, so it worked. They came back, they called back, they forced the fifth and they won that also come from behind. So Coach Kung Fu has really Kudos. lit a fire. Yep. To just talk about good decision making and being intent as well along with his squad. I think it's a perfect mix for Cherry Tigo. That was such a great battle, the signal Cherry matchup. Uh, Shaq and Kung Fu going at it. Shalina miscalculates that one's a bit too low for her. She's also trying to go for that sharp cross court, but the contact was a little bit too low in that rally. I think she's settling at it. You think she's settling in as a pro already, Jamie? With the last couple of games. Definitely. I mean, she's been doing the heavy lifting for her squad. 30 points, her right. career high. After 27, I know. 
back set. Here's a girl who also go. comes yeah. back yep. in this all Filipino in such great shape. And we're happy to see Aragalang back to her old form as we turn it over to Franny Reyes. I got to talk with Pauline Gaston about that five-setter that they had last Tuesday. And she actually told me that she a five-setter because it means they have a big, big shot at claiming the game. And it's really a privilege for them. And she told me what's important really is the mindfulness that they need to make those wins happen. Mindfulness is important because it allows them to learn from their mistakes but also know what they're capable of. Things that they need for a decisive win today against the cargo movers. She wants to see everyone contributing and playing well, and she has the confidence that her teammates will deliver. Download the Filipinas Live app and get free seven-day premium access. Enjoy live and on-demand PBL along with highlights, updates, and original programs. Let's send it back to the game with Mylene Paat serving. Thank you very much, Franny. Pauline uh, Gaston has really inter injected some, some energy and life. Yep. Uh, and I've seen it like even off cam. She in that I remember that game against Petrogas, another game that they looked really bad already, and then she started shouting at her team <laughs> from the bench and massaging with the back of Coach Kuchu. Much needed, yeah. <laughs> and calm him down. And, and to, to also give them a little bit of levity and you know looseness, and they came back in that yep. game, and she's been a great addition to this Cherry TV team. Jolina. And also, boom, to add to that, to think that in the Invitational Conference, she wasn't even first six, right? And now, she's point. really coming into her own in Cherry Tigo. It's going to be important without Ivy. Definitely, yeah. There yep. the team as Ivy Luxina gets the point from the pipe. Four will be serving six. Let's see that replay. Back row attack by Ivy Luxina. To think about, this is her third position this year. <laughs> Middle buffer, Do it all. opposite, and now open. Very libero. <laughs> or setter. I'm waiting for that setter day. Yep. Such a versatile player. Just like her idol, Aragalang, too. It's too low. Oh, the attack wow. from Alba. You know that. Yep. It's coming. Oh, I love this. Nabor and Alba. Yes, I was just going to say that both offensive setters, great timing. The height was perfect. For Mars Alba targeting that zone five. Very Kim Fajardo ish. Yes. I'm sure she doesn't mind the comparison because that's her idol too. Good first ball by EJ. She gets it back. Gets to split the blockers there. Don was there for that defense. She was shifting right in that position. Aya going for that cross court attack. EJ serves, and our score is seven, serving five. Targeting Jolina. Jolina likes it high, but this one is a miss hit this time. Yeah. Lack of wrist action in that rally by Jolina De La Cruz. And usually, boom, when the setter goes for that bump set, it's an obvious attack. Yes, yes. So it's important that Cherry Tigo reads that right away. Another one sailing out. Well, inutos ni Coach Kung Fu. Kargahan ang serve. Now it's a little too strong. <laughs> well, serving is the first line of defense, of offense rather. You think that it's the digging, but it always starts with that serve. You gotta trick your opponent rather. Good first ball by Jen. Oh. Translated to this Karandang hit, who's averaging six points a match. Karandang with that hit quick attack. Beautiful receive by Jen Yerba. But she's really come on. Yep. Um, again, one of the turnaround matches was that Petrogas match. She wasn't playing much yes, prior to that that's game. That's right. And then Coach Kung Fu decided to switch and put uh, Jen in there for Duremdes. And since oh. then, she has been so consistent. For Cherry, and now Palita na sila ng Palita ni Duremdes as Ivy Luxina pounds the pavement for their seventh point. You know, that just goes to show Coach Kung Fu, he knows his players well, he knows the patterns, he knows when they're having an off day and on day. He's been going against Jen Yerba since high school. And all those NU-USD yep. battles in high school. 
Ivy was a part of a couple of those too. Oh, that's great. Yeah, squeezing it through the block. Hey, Laura, I did mention she's the heart and soul of the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Let's see that replay. Powering through the block. See that gap in that block. No press also by Majoy, but Majoy Baron. Fourth best spiker, fifth best scorer, and their best all-around player. Uh, Luxina again. Nabor with the pickup and a chance ball for F2. Majoy. Boom, Alexanya. Good reaction by Aya, but nobody home. This cue there. Don't know if that was for Nabor or Pauline Gaston, but Cherry needs to keep in mind that when Majoy Baron is in the front row, there will be a lot of swiping attacks, not long ball attacks, so they need to really put their defense near the 10 foot line. Nice serve. Aya from the right pin goes to the middle. Ivy on top of the ball, wow. puts it away. Going for that sharp cross-court attack. Ivy Laxina knew that Pauline Gaston was in right there. Great timing on that ball. When she's on top of that ball, it's practically unstoppable. F2 behind just by one, nine serving ten. Nice receive. Mylene stalking from behind, but it is Pauline who gets it. You see that F2 is constantly targeting Jen Yerva for that receive, but she is digging very well. Great be quick attack by Pauline. Activating the middle early. Told her the win streak is uh, coinciding with her bangs. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so it's constantly out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, whatever works, right? Right. Whatever works. Oh, it's a touch. Outside? But it was a touch. By Nabor, I believe. Yeah. Did you have any kind of superstition when you were playing, uh, Jamie? I remember back in Ateneo, I had to wear this specific sports bra. Was it? Yeah. Really? And I have to listen to... A particular song? Yep. Or sad songs, jam? which is really? weird. You have sad songs. Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston songs. Very interesting. And you would think that it should be upbeat. Also, Mari Madayag is the same. You would think you want, like, maybe pump up music, right. R&B, but sad songs is the way to go. With, even with Maddie? Yep, yep. There's nothing to be sad about for her right now. They're in the semifinals. Yes, yes. That's currently the number two team, and they will maintain that position, barring anything that happens yeah, in the next couple of games. 11 all, F2 in it. Oh, this is wide. Lucky point for Cherry Teagle. Sad song, so. Yep. Winnie Houston. I get, I get the, you know, the wearing of... Uh, Oh, yeah, particular Specific, shorts, yep. or in your case, sports bra, you're saying, or whatever. Or socks, even for some. A pair of shoes. But not the music. The songs, just yep. interesting. Interesting. That's the vibe. Dami pinagdadahan na yata ni Jamie. Not volleyball related. <laughs> yes, yes. Boom. Looks like Don't it. bring up the past. Aragala <laughs> gets the point off. Oh, look at this hit. Again, the classic cut shot from right. Mara. We know this, that long ball attack going to zone five. She knew that there was a hole in that defense. Healthy as ever. Aragala really looking good in this conference. The board. Is it? Boo! Oh, did you hear that? The contact with the ball. That takes us to the first technical timeout of this match. 13-12 for Cherry.
Get access to the second All-Filipino Conference of the Premier Volleyball League live and in high definition on One Sports Plus. Plus more premium channels for the whole family when you switch to Signal Postpaid. Subscribe to Plan 520 and enjoy three free months with no cash out. Call 88555 or pound 88555 or visit your nearest Signal dealer. Boom Gonzalez with Jamie LaVittoria and one of the girls who has been out the whole conference and going back to the semifinals of the Invitationals, KKB. She's greatly missed on the court. I mean, she was their go-to spiker wow. for F2 Logistics. You have Aimee Hernandez here on your screens. Very happy, I'm sure, for her squad. Yeah, she was. I, I had a quick chat with her the, during the last game. Unfortunate she's not part of it, but very happy with that win that they celebrated the last time out. Aragalang and the rest of F2 fighting here, 12-13. Galang. This conference has been very good even from an offensive standpoint. Almost 10 points a game and top 10 digging, top 10 receiving in classic Aragalang form. And this is no surprise to us. Well, we just fixed it there, but that's no surprise to us as what we've seen in the past in college, but slowly coming into her own in this conference. Thanks for calling me out, man. 10th <laughs> <laughs> best digger and second best receiver wow. of the tournament. There we go. Good first ball for her. Pipe attack from Ivy. That's EJ. Set up to Jolina. Coverage from Dawn. Back set to Ara. Look at her pound that one. That's a great attack by Aragala. You see that Mars Alba is constantly feeding her the ball. She's the type of player that needs to be given the ball to get her rhythm going. As you see, going for that sharp cross-court attack. Her arms are back. Remember yep. a couple of conference ago where she looked really scrawny. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Very lean. And now the strength is back to serving, obviously. Another asset of Ara. We are all tied right now at 14 all. I remember going up against them back in Ateneo, and I was the libero at the time. Mm -hmm. Like, That's seriously, the I'm the target. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you had sad songs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was manifesting the game already with the sad song. <laughs> Rally on going, the board goes for it. Agawan's the second set. ball. Wow. Angelina manufactures something there to get the lead. Partner 15 14. That's a beautiful bump set by Captain Dick there. And it's an obvious third contact there. Mylene Paad not ready. I said this earlier, you have to be near the 10 foot line when you're going up against F2 because you'll have those swipe attacks. Good setup there for EJ, who goes over the blockers. Ivy from behind. Jazz to my lead. Wow. Taken squarely by Dawn. Good rally here. The bar shoots it to the other side. And a hit out by EJ. Beautiful exchanges between both squads. The bar setting that ball to Aya Laure. But, and mind you, look at that dig. That's the second already. Perfect form. Ivy also with that back row attack. Jen Yerva also oh, with that. I mean, talk about technique and passion between both squads. Nice Great first ball there. There we go. Lina. Mars Alba maximizing the blockers on the other side. Jasmine Nabor is not the tallest of setters, but Jelena Dela Cruz touching her outer hand in that rally. Jelena Dela Cruz. I love the gamemanship here. Don Makandili looking, yeah, right? looking at the play from Jasmine Nabor behind the, the back. Sa with a tip. Uh, Cutting big with a dolphin dive. Oh! And a babied swipe by uh, Luxino trying to cut it. Yep. And sometimes when you're trying to be too careful with your attacks, it actually can lead to a uh, miss hit. 
Score is 16 all. Done. She looks like she's very, in the fifth set yes. already. Very focused. <laughs> yes. Sweating all over the place. <laughs> so into the game. Marano. Classic. I believe that is her first running attack in this first set. Let's see that swing. Now it's important that Aya Laura and Pongai Gaston press in that block. Good serve by Abby, yeah. Chen again will set to Aya. Picked up. Chance for Cherry. But they give it away. Mars will pick Madroy, and Jen was there with a smile. Gala was there. Great challenge by Pauline. Jasmine will wow. turn into an attacker, <laughs> which she was originally before Coach Babes Castillo turned her into a setter. Look at that beautiful dig by Jen yes. Staying low for that defense, but Nabor also being another versatile player for her squad. And also being a lefty, you have a lot of benefits. Contra, Chempo, as they say. Flat serve. Durandes taking it in the chest. Aya rolls it to the other side. One-handed pickup by Julina. Oh! the ball, as they say. That is the worst thing that can happen. Just getting it over. It doesn't even need to be a hard contact, a third contact. Great efforts by Jolina De La Cruz. In those moments, you just gotta get it over. Rare error on the side of F2. Buckle up for this first set. Look at the score, 18-17. We expected this already. Laxina, what a spot for Ivy. And that set from Mars Alba was not near the net, so she had to go for that roll shot in that sharp cross court. The set was a little too far. far. And normally when that happens, the defense needs to come forward, so you have to read the set as well. Mylene asking for it, but it's Pauline who gets one. <laughs> Some wow. gamemanship from Mars out <laughs> And they take over the lead. We did talk about this earlier, Boom. Cherry Tigo cannot underestimate the talent of F2. We have vet players here. That's Gala. just classic. Same spot, this yeah. is the second time it's happened. Moving, flying left yep. and hitting right. It's just so ara. Mighty Pad has something to say. Slowly getting her lift back, by the yep. way, the last couple of games. That's getting right. her knee strength back. Going for that cross-court attack. And to think this, like you just said, this is not her 100, right? Yeah, she's clearly not 100, you know, MVP Definitely. form. Definitely, yep. A little soft on the receive. That's EJ with some strong swings today. Great effort by Captain Dick. DJ calling out Ivy, apologizing. That's coming also from an out of system play. Yeah, yeah, Not the easiest of attacks. Tough set. Friendly competition here, but intense. 20 serving 19. Yes, Cherry getting it back. Miscommunication there, and a chance for Cherry for a two point lead. Scissor play. It's the first combination play ran by Jasmine Nabor, fooling the block. And so Coach G, sorry, partner uh, forced to call the timeout here for a two-point lead. Okay? <laughs> The best cheer dancing competition of the country is back. Catch the UAP Season 86 cheer dance competition December 2 at 2 p.m. at the Mall of Asia Arena. Watch it live on One Sports, UAP Varsity Channel, and of course on Philippines Live, where you are watching this tight matchup. 
between Cherry Tigo looking for a semi-final seat in the F2 Logistics. Riding a six-game winning streak are the crossovers. That's a great serve by Ea, by the way. And the ball comes back to them for a counter-attack. Pauline asks for it. Dawn was there. Ara. Nabor. Teremdes will send it to Mylene. Mar stops the ball. Ara. Ea. Jazz. Oh, that's a reverse. That's a tough one. Ivy gets a reverse too. Delaying uh, the hit. Fingertips. Miss hit <laughs> by Ivy Laxina, but I mean a point is a point. Ea Laure too deep in that defense. Just the timing yeah, as well. Right. Look at the spin of the ball. He's that's too a, far back as well. This hit. So the timeout produces a point. Ivy gets us going for this rally. Jen with a perfect first ball. Jen chases for coverage. But this ball game will be tied. Four touches. Great timeout by Coach Regine producing yep. two points. Under Coach Kung Fu is thinking about a timeout No, Should be soon. If they score three straight, I suspect they will call one. Ivy takes her time as usual. But too much muscle behind that one. Yes, you're right. That might be an expensive one. As now the double sub. Now check that. Only a single sub. Princess Robles will come to serve and sweep. Not coming in yet for the on the front row. Yep. Usually coming off the bench. We did mention her earlier in the free game. So she will defend. And she will give us a serve. 22-21. Dawn with a perfect first ball. Ara, right on top of the ball. Puts it away. Ties the ball game at 22. And talk about the blocking of Cherry Tigo. It is not synchronized. Cutting down very late and pressing actually far off the net. Great swing. Mars Alba just distributing the ball evenly. Sola Alvarez will come in to serve. Down the wire we go. As expected. Nice serve. EJ in the middle. Picked up by Shola. Open to Jolina. Rebound. Nabor reverses to Mylene. That is out. No touch. And F2 takes over the lead. A little overcooked in that rally by Mylene Paat. She is a lefty. Set, Beautiful set. set. Yeah. So Coach Kung Fu will call time. First NBA or first ever NBA in season tournament is here. Watch all 30 teams battle it out for the NBA Cup until December 9. Only on the NBA TV Philippines, One Sports, and Filipinos Live. Hashtag NBA on Signal, hashtag always a fan. 23 serving 22. The spoilers are ahead by one here against the Streak Busters. Faulty first ball, but they managed to score out of it. Targeting, constantly targeting Genierva. This is the time where Cherry Tigo needs that stable first ball on the board, going for that bump set. Just nothing too flashy with that attack, not overdoing it, just touching the hands of Aragala. 23 all. Running attack. Run and gun from the captain. Set point. Do you expect Mars Alba giving 
their leader that ball in the first attack. Taking risks Gachi. as well. Gachi. Yep. Good first ball by A. Uh, back to EJ. Extension. Set number one. Now this is what Coach Reg was talking about earlier in their timeout. You have to be stable with that block, pressing over, and just timing it perfectly with the opposite spiker. EJ is in the back row, which means Aya will be in front. Yes. diagonal. Shoot it to the other side for Jelena. Aya gets it. The boar fakes the attack. Karanda unable to put it away. Ooh, miss hit there for Abby. Aya asking for it. Ivy. Mars. Back row! Aragana with a cannon! Mars Alba distributing the ball perfectly. I mean, Aragala. You would think she would avoid setting the back row. You have Abby Marano in the front, but taking guts. that risk, right? The past two sequences. Yeah, guts. Six points for Aragala, really good to see. I'm yep. sure all of her fans, which are a multitude of millions of her, Definitely. are really happy with her form. This all Filipino. Speaking of form, perfect. That thud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The contact right. of the ball. And the sound it makes. And Aya just puts power into it. That's just done his back here. Front line. Twenty-five all. Out of system. Chance to counter. Sumobra. Here again. Pauline. No. Aya. Yes. Smart play. Smart play. Here you go. To the queen. To give credit also to Pauline Gaston for being yes. that decoy for the blocking of F2. Smart Nahule. play. Yep. Let's see Abby because of her. Have to account for Pauline a little bit. Expect a running attack boom here. Palitan lang na set point dito, but they couldn't set it correctly. Abby will go back. Oh, over set. Ivy again. Chance for Cherry. Aya takes a look at the defense. There we go. The queen is clutch. Four points. But all when it mattered as usual. Jasmine Abor targeting their go-to spiker, Aya Laure. Mars Alba not as stable in that block. Great production by Aya Laure. Great setting decisions as well by Nabor in the last two sequences. He means business today. Hey, Laura now closing her eyes, visualizing what's going to happen for set number two as we take a break. Jump. Download Filipinas Live and get free seven-day premium access. Enjoy BVL along with highlights, updates, and original programs. Extended Gaga, the first set, 27 25. That's how competitive this match has been. F2 really hung in there and were poised to take that first set. How did Cherry Eagle 
get that from them. It all came down to the small details. The F2 cargo movers constantly targeting Janjeva, but she's giving that stable first ball, which is allowing Jasmine Nabor to run her offense smoothly. You have Karandang, you have Pauline Gaston, and you also have the Lowry sisters. Mylene Pad had a few points here and there, had an overcooked attack, but on the side of F2, Less in the unforced errors and steady defense. As we see the set one stats, almost same in terms of attacks, 18 by Cherry and 17 with F2. Now, boom, what's also not shown on your screen are the timing of these unforced errors, the timing of the blocks, the timing of the aces that can possibly halt your momentum or even extend your momentum. Well, speaking of timing, they allowed it just in the right time with their four points to snatch that first set, but they're actually led by EJ Laures, seven points on seven attacks, yeah. While F2 led both by Laxina and Galang with six apiece. Again, a win today by Cherry Tigo will be their seventh in a row and more importantly, will catapult them into the semifinals with an 8-1 team standing. We've already seen improvement by the F2 cargo movers. Galang almost there and he's targeting zone five. Majoy Baron and Mars Alba choosing the right spiker at the right time. It's great, great first set. So let's see, set number two is underway. Aya right away rejected in the middle. That was easily read by Majoy Baron. Jasmine Nabor trying to go for that combination play early on in that first attack. Boom Gonzalez, Jamie La Vittoria, Franny Reyes. For this third game, following the two games that happened earlier today, and we'll talk more about that later on. In the meantime, rally ongoing. That's alive. Chance ball for F2. Swipe doesn't work for Majoy. Bump set. Aya rolls it. Don adjusts. Looked like she walked on her knees there. And here she is again, keeping it alive. Pauline. De decoy, Mylene, long rally alert right away here at the start of the second. This time, pa Pauline gets it. Laxina goes for the cross, and it's wide. Trying to avoid the hands of Pauline Gaston, going for that sharp cross-court attack. Lack of wrist action in that rally. You do see both setters, though, Boom, Nabor, and Mars Alba really distributing yeah. not, and not being yeah. too obvious Predictable. Yep, in terms of the offense. Dawn targeted. Ivy on the right pin. Off balance, off set, off system. So it was a little too off the net by Mars Alba in that rally. 2-1, Cherry Tigo. Trying to join Choco Mucho and Cream Line in the semifinals. Over receive, wow. and Pauline lets them pay. <laughs> the facial reaction of Pauline Gaston is my favorite to watch. But take a look at this replay, over receive by Dawn. Woo, look at her swing at that. And the right discipline to pull back the hand. A lot of uh, hitters sometimes, they scrape the net yep. because of the momentum and yep. giggle. Yes. As oh, Ea Laure sends this one to the net. Let's go to Franny right now for a report from the F2 side. I got to speak with Coach Reg earlier about, you know, what's been happening with this team and in their previous losses. And she told me this is a team that seems to have forgotten a lot of the things that they're capable of. She said what's important, though, is that they don't stop trying, especially against the Cherry Tigo crossovers. She told me that it's important that they stop the individuals who score a lot, like Aya, and they have to make their own points. It's important that they put those blocks up and ch challenge the attacks from the crossovers. Now, I also want to talk about Aragalang. We talked about her fighting form in this conference, and she told me she's made it her goal to bring back her game or to go even beyond what her game 
has been and is right now. Physically, this is the best she's been, and she hopes to show us more in this conference. Download the Filipinas Live app and get free seven-day premium access. Enjoy live and on-demand PBL along with highlights, updates, and original programs. Let's send it back to Boom and Jamie. Thank you very much, Franny. It looks like it. I said it from, I, I think I covered the very first game of FC of the AFC, and I said it from the moment I saw the warm-up. I said, wow, Aragalang. And I didn't even see her play yet. I just saw the, her build and that it looked so different from before. And right off, you know, uh, the first game, you saw that she really was in a different form. And she continues to play like uh, vintage Aragalang, or as Franny did mention, even better than before is her goal. Why not reach your peak as a pro? That's right, Mars Alba constantly giving her confidence. I said this earlier, Galang is the type that needs to get the constant sets to, or in order for her to get her groove. Shot too close to the net. Yep. F2 up, 5-4. Ajoy. Targeting Ea, but it was EJ who got it. Chance here to counter again. Ara swings away. The boar giving it to Mylene. Sent back by F2 blockers. Mylene again. Oh! Talk about variety in your tax. Mylene Pad going for that sharp cross court and. Take a look at this, that last minute decision of going down the line. Baron was actually in the right spot, yep. but was a little bit surprised in that rally. Surprise. So I mean, to serve. Five balls. It's a beautiful first ball by Gala. Then set up the swing for Abby. Talk about team effort, a collaborative effort by the F2 cargo movers. That short running attack is classic boom. Na nakikita natin eh, no? Classic Ara, classic Yep. Classic EJ cross court. It serves, classic serving. Number five in our serving department. And that serve is actually going outside. Usually when the serve is above your shoulder, you gotta let yes. it go. That is the rule, you know? All our coaches. Service. Ghana. But it was also so fast, so yep. you have to think quickly. Good reaction by Karandal there. Rainbow free ball. Oh, that's too high. Back to Cherry. Did not set it. And that's what happens. Made the bay. Yep. We've talked about this before. Karandang, you can easily dig it and start with that first ball, but Abi Marano targeting the outer hand of EJ Laure. Cannot waste the possession. Yep. But now, this is the biggest lead of F2 in, in either set. A three point lead, 8 5. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a tough one. Jazz. Mylene, out of system again! She's been excelling at all of these out of system attacks. So I can hear Coach Reg yep. yelling at F2, screaming blocking on the side of her squad. Nabor is doing a great job of having the blocking of F2 constantly move, and that is what is killing them in the second set. Aya's in front, EJ serving. Sinundan ni Aya. Nakuha yung pasa. Cut shot. Jolina on the attack. Hit out. She's been doing a great job of going for that off the block by her opponent. Let's see that replay. Great set by Mars Alba. Yet again, Mars Alba knows that Jasmine Abor is in the front row, maximizing on that. They maintain a three-point lead, nine serving six. What a serve! Four-point lead! 
Usually when the serve is right above the tape, there's a possibility that it will drop. Just like Jolima's serve here. Flat. Very flat. It's a very Japanese style of serving, right above the tape. Another one. Jolina De La Cruz delivering from the first point of attack, which is the serve. Five-point lead now. 6-1 run by F2. And Coach Kung Fu has seen enough. Score six for the crossovers. Okay, Coach Kung Fu. Ang laban sa pinakabagong sports app na Pilipinas Live. Mapapanood ang PBA Season 48 Live in High Definition and On Demand on any device available worldwide. Download and register now for free. Jelena continues to serve. Part of the 6-1 run. Aya coolly takes this first ball. Mylene! It's short on that one. Jasmine doesn't wait. Abby goes above. Pipe attack for EJ. Jelena coolly takes it. Laxina puts it away. In between the block of Cherry Tigo. Talk about Mars Alba distributing the ball evenly going for Abby Maranya, her ate. Last minute decision of going to Ivy Laxina. And keep in mind the target of Jolina Dela Cruz is constantly in the zone five. That is forcing Nabor to set Mylene Paat in the back row. But that set was a little bit too short for her. They have doubled up on Cherry. No touch. And now that lead has ballooned. 13-6, and Coach Kung Fu calls another. Sorry, no, we are in the technical timeout, by the way. We will be back. Boost your watch list this November with Signal's Quick Boost. Enjoy more channels with no extra fees. Just load your prepaid box with loads 300 to 600 or pay your postpaid bill. F2 pulling away here in the second set as the energy levels of Cherry has gone down. Let's uh, give you uh, an update on our Filipinas Live poll question. Who will be the most versatile player on the court? Got a lot of candidates, but two of the best from different generations. That's right. Aragalang, Aya, but of course, Nanjan Dintila Ivy, Simailin, and so far, Aya is wow. boarding it over at 65%. That's right, Mylene Pad with 8%, Aragalang with 14%, and Ivy Laxina 
with three. Now, Boom, we talked about this earlier. We can't, the Cherry Tigo crossovers cannot underestimate the M2 cargo movers. Smooth sailing so far for them in the in this second set. So Coach Kung Fu will change it up, put Joy Mikagande and uh, teammate, longtime teammate Cesar Robles back in. Robles was the spark plug from the previous game. Coach Kung Fu is looking for her again. Also, Atienza is also in. Kanina, previously, yep. yeah, uh, replacing Karandang. Too soft for Cess. Nothing soft about the Ivy Luxina swing today. And Luxina has uh, eight points already for herself. You can see that Ivy Luxina is maximizing on the block of Robles, but also going for that down the line on Cagante. So effective here in this left side, Ivy has 14-6. Jelena continues to serve. Tagal na niya She's been there for a while. She's digging it up too. Di natin dinagay si Jelena dun sa pole na yun. Jelena, dapat nandun din siya. She's doing it all as Abby Maranio is having conversations. What do you see, Jamie? Well, Atienza was going in for that block as Mars Alba was going for that set, but that is a clean call to me. Point should go to Cherry Teagle. So they get it at 7 14. Right, Atienza. Ooh, nice serve. Galang, a, wheel, a willing recipient. Ivy. Ah, that's way out. Must have been the tough set also by Joy Me. That's right. Pauline had the right idea of swiping it, just a little overcooked in that rally. But talk about the wrist action of the attack of Ivy Luxina. Maximizing on this left pin. Cherry Tigo having a difficult time in terms of defense, especially in their defensive pattern. Aya is in front. It's rejected. They load up on Aya. Princess on the other side. The blocking of F2 has been superb. Three straight. Princess takes a look at the defense. It bounces right back, and F2 is on a roll. Defensively, they are impenetrable right now. You can see a shift of body language on the side of F2. They're smiling, they're enjoying the game, and playing the game the right way. Clearly inside with that kill block by Majoy Baron. Seth getting away now from Cherry. They've been serving well. They've been blocking well. They've been playing well in general, even in that first set loss, as you mentioned. That's right. I mean, the movements of F2, it's more fluid. This is the first time that I'm seeing them sm smile in a very long time. As you have the original first six here, Baat and Nabor back in. 10 point lead. Service. Aya adjusts her position. The board going for that first attack, that combination play. Aya Lara targeting that zone one. I think we need more combination plays, especially when Cherry Teagle has that first ball. You have to change it up because F2 is known for their blocking. That's not going to help their cause. You've earned the point in the previous sequence, followed by an unforced error. These are the things that you need to control the miss serves, the miss hits. 18 8. Good draw there by Gaston playing decoy. A little misdirection and might need bad. Some heat on that swing. The board switching up the offense. You see the set to Mylene Paat, rather, excuse me, was a little bit too inside the antenna, switching it up a bit. And now in the back row. Jelena, first ball. Got him in the middle, triple lock. Rebound. 
back set to Mylene. Ooh, Ara had it. She said, I, I was there, but could not keep it in play. Cherry Tigo successful in the past few sequences. Going to their Ate. Just getting that off the block touch. 10 points for Mylene. Another good serve. Kalang! Ea able to dig it up. Same with Jelena. Kalang again! This time, Bawe! Targeting the hands of Mylene Fa. Now, this is the side out boom that they need in order if they want to get the second set. Nothing too flashy, not the strongest of attacks, but just targeting the outer hand of Miley Fahad. Reformed though, right? Right. Facing cross, yep. going down. And it's hard to generate some power with that kind of yes. form. Yep. Ooh, couple of miscues from both teams. EJ goes to the runway. Ira from the right pin. Coverage from Jen. Mylene. Ara rolls it to the middle. EJ. Captain Big was there. Jolina. Dabor chasing. Mylene, that's too low. That's too low. Yep. Oh, they're going to allow it. Confusion. F2 point anyway. That contact was a little bit too low for Mylene Fad, but I mean, you gotta play until you hear that whistle. Yeah, that set was already going on the side of Cherry Tigo. That could have been their point as well. Aragalam. <laughs> Sorry, that's Abi Maranyu. Cap. 2010 F2 came to play today. Playing with a lot of pride, Jamie. The, the vets, yeah, right? The team's out of it already for semifinals. They want to ruin the standings. Yeah. <laughs> Blocking has been on point here in the second. Mylene blocked again. Aragala does not wait. Aragala being aggressive at the net. Geneva was there for that dig, but I mean, the momentum of the chair of F2, rather. Cherry Tigo having a difficult time halting their momentum. Too many unforced errors, I would say, in the second set by Cherry. And usually they're the team that can easily get that side out, but F2 is doing a great job. That's tough. Oh, what an angle by EJ. Dug up by Mylene. Pipe attack from Ea. Dawn will send it to Ara. Ara has been on fire. EJ will manufacture one. It's all off system for Cherry Tigo right now. First time that they're in system, but Dawn spoils it. Galang rolls it. And Ara Galang with her 11th point gives them a 22 to 10 lead. Talk about being crafty with your attacks going down the line, cross court. But look at this off speed attack by Ara Galang. Jen Yerva was already on the line expecting yeah. that down the line, yeah. but these are vet moves by Ara Galang. Pauline will sit down. De Los Reyes comes in for the very first time for Cherry Tigo. Myla Pablo will make an appearance here. Give a little rest to Jelena De La Cruz, who has been spectacular. Well, she was in charge of serving when they created yes. that big separation. Talking about Jelena. Nice to see Myla Pablo back in action here, as the lead is 12. So Jelena will sit down to rest. For sure, we'll see her again. Same with Pauline. It is the blocking that has been on point. Enjoy, but on. I mean, F2 is known for their blocking. I feel like Sina, number two in blocking. Look at that press, and that is what Coach Reg has been saying in her time out. You need to be consistent with the blocking. 
Miley Bot is trapped, actually. She couldn't go for that mm. cross court as well. Poised to tie this match. Two points away. Yeah, F2. Tug up by Ivy. I was going to say, you know, blocking has been great for F2 in the second set. Actually, everything yes. has been great yep. for F2 in the second set. The digging, the receives. The serving. Look at that. Mars with some swag, too. And Aragada continues to swing away to the delight of her teammates there. Talk about team effort in this sequence. Aragala going for the long ball attacks. See a hole in the block, in the defense rather, of the Cherry Teagle from crossovers. She averages 9.7 points. She has 12 already. We're only in the second set, and we're guaranteed, looks like it, four at yes. the very least with this set point. 14 of them. One saved by EJ. EJ Laure targeting the outer hand of that block for F2. The boar with that reverse set. Alba almost there for the defense. F2 in set point. Jason De Los Reyes gets us going for this rally. Saved by Ea. Chance ball for F2 with 13 set points. Combination play. Pablo saw the open spot. And F2 has tied this match one set all. F2 going for that combination play. Myla Pablo on your screens, laughing it off. She actually went too early for that approach, but knew there was a hole. Yeah. So, Jerry Digo extends or make, uh, wins the first set in extension and then Milo Pablo and the rest of the F2 dominant second set win 25-11 we will be back with third set action Download Filipinas Live and get free seven-day premium access. Enjoy PVL along with highlights, updates, and original programs. Set 1, 27, 25. Set 2, 11, 25. 
talk about pure dominance on the side of the F2 cargo movers. We saw great production by Jolina De La Cruz, Galan with that serve, peak form, and Abby Marano with that classic running attack. Everything running smoothly for the side of F2. Now on the side of Cherry Tigo, they had a difficult time boom with that first ball, which allowed Nabor forcing that open spike. Now, in terms of the middles, Gaston, Karandang, having, you know, being subbed out, pulling in Atienza and J Jaisel De Los Reyes. We need more production on the side of the middle blockers. Coach Kofu just looking for something. Uh, right. Uh, seven errors, really, especially on the receiving end. Yeah. When Jolina De La Cruz was, was serving, um, and then the blocks. It's only 3-1, but it felt like 10-1 at one point for F2. Right now, you're not seeing this on camera, but right now, in this whole set break, Coach Kung Fu is completely in the ears of all of the players. You can see it from afar right now. Yeah. This is a calm part already, but before that, it was a furious yeah. uh, timeout, and he did not like how that set went, obviously. The energy levels went down, but you gotta give credit also to F2. They responded after the first set heartbreak. Yep. You know, they had that that that, that first set, but A. Alaura responded and got the first set for them. And they, they bounced back in the second set. So you gotta give credit where credit is due. And now, let's see, Cherry Tigo has to manufacture some energy here. If they want to make it to the semifinals outright, they have three chances. But the two teams that they're going up against are the upper teams now, That's who, right. even who are safe in the semifinals. I'm quite sure they're not just going to give away those, Definitely. those games. Definitely. So this is uh, just by a team standing standpoint, this is their best chance of getting a win. And that's why Coach Kung Fu is furious. That's right. This is actually where the matur maturity comes into play. You're going up against yeah. veteran players who know the game, been there, done that type of experience. Right. So it's the pressure is on the side of Cherry Teagle. So let's see how they come out here in the second set. Right now, the length and height of uh, F2 and their fighting spirit is uh, very evident. That's right, their body language is very yes. positive, yes. very light. And not too many unforced errors as well. I mean, when you give, when you have unforced errors, you're halting your own momentum and giving free points to your opponent. They only had three, right? Right, the yep. Second set. Clean volleyball. Yeah. Again, the blocking has been superb. This is very tight. Well, Ivy Latina yeah, no. is. Number two. I, I read the lips of uh, Ea when she spoke to Jen. Nerva said, "Wait, it because Ea yes, doesn't yes. like it yet." Uh, Especially you have Ivy Latina on that left pin on the other side. She was trapped in that rally. Two zero for F two. Pauline unable to put it away. Ara. Another spot open. Three zero F two in the third. No boom, it's the approach that is very deceiving. Going for that last minute decision of that drop ball. Switching it up, adding variety to her attacks. Earlier she went for the long ball in zone five. Now going for that drop ball. Ea. Ara. And that will go nowhere. Coach Kung Fu is... I'm going to replace uh, Pauline first here for Jaya Tienza. So let's get into more of a Cherry Tigo courtesy of Franny Reyes. Thanks, Boom. I got to listen in to that huddle before this set where Coach Kung Fu was livid with the way his players were not able to adjust fast enough to the cargo movers. And he was telling them, Lakasan ng attacks. Cherry Tigo is a team that prides itself in its aggressiveness, powerful attacks with variation. They need to play smarter against F2. But most importantly, they have to 
lessen their miscommunication and unforced errors. He told me that with their sports psych, they've been talking about what's important, which is always the now moving forward and forgetting what just happened. So they have to forget that last set and they have to move forward if they want to beat the cargo movers. Now download Filipinas Live and get free seven-day premium access. Enjoy live and on-demand PVL along with highlights, updates, and original programs. Let's send it back to this rally. Which is ongoing right now. Thank you very much, Franny Reyes. Cross-court attack by Aragala is smooth today. You can see in transition, F2, everything running smoothly for them. And you take a look. Normally, Budin can get those balls, but you see hesitation in their movements here. Cherry Tigo, yeah, the, right? The urgency but is lacking. Also, being alert as well. and. They're having a difficult time getting that side out right away. Usually, Cherry Tigo is a team that thrives on first attack, but also the first ball is unstable. Uh, they are given a point here as a gift by Ivy Luxina. A service error. Jaya Tienza. Jaya Tienza. Remember, no Amy Hernandez here for Cherry. Ara, full swing. Ayo is there, it goes back to Ara. That's too low. A little too low by Mars Alba with that B quick attack. Joy. Coach Regine will go for Myla Pablo. For Angelina De La Cruz will move out as they are up 5-3. I will serve. Myla sends it over. Jasmine goes to Princess. Digging by Dawn. Dawn. Finally a block from, uh, from Jerry. It's been a while. Karen Dan with that kill block, easily read by Ivy Laxina. With the adjustment she makes. Yep. Those are the minimal movements, boom, that make a huge difference. So it's a Tienza and Karandang there. But Karandang in front of Tienza behind. Nice serve. Ara. Justice right now at target practice for Ara Galab. Now the blocking of Cherry is definitely being tested. Mars Alba. 15 points for this girl. And her attack is above the block. Garandang is blocked on that long slide. Princess goes down the line, but it's wide. Coach Kung Fu. <laughs> Princess is going just a little. A smidge. Close, yep. A smidge. <laughs> right idea. Well, they better recover soon here, or else F2 is going to break this game wide open again. 4 7. Good reaction there by EJ. Princess. Delayed by the blockers. Mylene sends it over. Jazz back to Sess. I love her lift. Yep. She when her the hang time a bit. Yeah, and when her arms go back, you see her arms go all the way back for that for that leverage. Yep. And her elevation as well. The farther it goes, the, the more her elevation. <laughs> yep. Really. There are certain parang forms that I love watching. You know, Gemma Galanza. Gemma, yep. Beautiful form, Liza Valdez, of course, very different. Different styles. Yeah, CC, of course. Davidson, another one. Davidson, another one. Just great. These attackers have such great mechanics. It's lovely to watch. Galang also, of course, very different. Here comes Princess again. There we go. <laughs> it's the approach, it's the swing. Yes. She was actually looking at the cross court, See. but this is what she was trying to do earlier, boom. Yes, yes. There we go. Ara was there. She 
if they inject, if she injects some life Princess to Cherry Tigor, six serving eight UAP Finals MVP. Abby asking for it, but EJ was wise to it. Tight set, but a touch at the net. That's what we were talking about. Sometimes momentum of that swing. That's right. The bump set of Jen Yerva was a little too tight, too tight yes. for Jasmine Abor. You also have your open spiker as well. Too tight, yep. Mila Pablo, F2 just playing right now very well. Oh, what a serve. Ea, set back. One more for Ea. It's low, and she delivers it. She babies that one, and a four-point lead by F2. Dangerous times here. For Cherry as Jason De Los Reyes will come back here for Karandam. Now, Boom, usually F2 is the squad that has a lot of substitutions, but Coach Kung Fu is the one now yeah. shuffling his players in this match. Six, ten. Ea splits it through the block. Off the rebound. Ea overcooks. No check. Challenge. They're going to challenge. Yes, there is a challenge. It's Coach a Kung challenge. Fu. It's a little too fast. I wasn't able to read. Let's see. Again, probably a ploy sometimes just to break the momentum. Yep. F2 playing so well in that second set. So well so far here in the third. And we've seen this all conference long, Jamie. F2 has these spurts where they're at a high level. Yep. And then we also see the dips of F2 uh, here in the All Filipino. No block touch. Not, Not yep. It's a clean hit, but sailed outside. A semi final seat is at stake. How bad do you want it? That's the question. Coach Kung Fu is throwing at his girls. Jazz with a tough one to Princess. Ivy. And Yerba sends it to the technical table. I have to give credit to Mars Alba in that rally. Fooling the blocking of Cherry, T Cherry Tigo. Baranya acting as that decoy. Just don't, I personally just don't see the energy levels of Cherry the way I saw it's it dipped. against Signal and uh, Petrogas. And I covered those games. Yep. So. Your energy has to be maintained, whether you're playing a high ranked team, a low ranked team. 5 0 run to open up. A 13 to 6 lead. It's one of those days for Cherry Tigo. Jump. You're watching the PVL All Filipino Conference, where the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers are leading 13 to 6 against the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Now it's captains on captains as Mylene Paat shares what she wants to emulate from Chang Abi. This is V Quick with Mylene Paat.
pa yung leader mo and palaban talaga. As in, mapa sa loob ng mo, mapa sa buhay mo. Oo, oh, oh, mapa sa sariling buhay mo. Sobrang napakagala mo. So, yun lang, may claim ko lang. Ayun, 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 My lead bot chilling on the bench right now because uh, Coach Kung Fu making some changes. And our good friend Abby Marano playing very well today so far. F2 opened up another big lead here in set number three. Saved. Cherry scrambling here. And they still win the point, talking about F2, 14-6. And that was a combination play ran by Mars Alba. A quick attack with B quick attack. You have Ivy Luxina in the front row, who can also hit middle attacks. Dung is back. Kung Fu looking for answers here. EJ receiving. Karandang with a smack of that ball. Which Kung Fu trying to pump up the team. They needed this point. Karandang with that B quick attack. You see Jasmine Nabor in this second set, constant in this third set rather, constantly running because of her first ball. Cherry needs to work on that first ball. Up system. EJ with a pickup. Atienza. Ara will shoot it. It's too tight, but Ivy with that height almost got the point, but could not control her momentum. Two straight points by Cherry. The set was a little bit too tight, yep. Especially for her. Went over the, the line, girl, yep. hits the net. All oh, well, sorts of violations there. 8-14. <laughs> Wow. That set was actually still a little bit too low for Ivy Luxina. But. Still works. Yep. Going for that B quick attack again. Point is a point. Ivy Luxina with 13 points today. A lot of great scoring for, for F2, which is a major contrast from that last match that they had. Ivy, uh, sorry, uh, Jamie, that. Nobody even got into double figures. That's right, they had a difficult time as well with their first ball and getting that side out. Combination play. Sent back by F2. Everything going in favor for the cargo movers. As they double up. Locking. Time out again by Coach Kung Fu. They're experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set, spike, dig, and block live in HD and on demand anytime, anywhere, and on any device via Filipinas Live app. Download and register now. Boy, that sounds like the time up that we heard. In that yep. signal game, the last time out, nothing technical. This was all appealing. Yes. A motivational timeout. Yeah. He also did mention you don't want to lead too much on luck. You have to earn your points. You have to earn them with fight. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's like saying you got to make your own luck. Yep. you got to work hard to create your own luck. So he's just throwing out every single motivational speech out there for a team that is on a six-game winning streak. Cannot get points together. 
I and did. you gotta give credit to after we yep. what we're saying about the energy levels of Cherry and this are not doing this well right now, but credit going out to F2, they're playing at a high level right now. That's right. This is actually the F2 that we've seen in the past conferences. I mean, they want to win when it matters. Galang again. And Ara Galang continues to fire away with 16 sweet points. Let's go to Freddy Reyes. We named Ivy Lexina as a possible most versatile all-around player. And I got to ask her about that challenge that her coaches have put upon her this conference. And she told me that she really rises to the occasion. She likes that challenge because she trusts that her coaches see something in her. And that's something that she's also trying to do with her teammates. She told me that in their previous losses, kulang sila sa communication and the eagerness to win. And in today's game, they really have nothing to lose. Oftentimes, they've taken a set in their previous games, but they want to take the whole match today as we see A. Lauer is serving. Yeah, they want to be greedy today, Freddy. Yep. And A. Uh, Lauer just sends a gift to F2 here. 19-10 at semi-final seat. Up for grabs still with you know, other teams still chasing. Petrogas still in the mix. Signal, obviously. Everything working for the cargo movers. Myla Pablo being smart in that rally, pushing it into zone one. Great coverage by A. Laure, but look at Jen Yerba was a little bit too forward in that defense, no coverage. Boom, everything going in their way. Smooth sailing for F2. 10 points. Great receive. Alba to Majoy. Atienza to Robles. Just not good enough today in terms of putting that ball away. Alba has been solid with her digging, and that's double contact. Yeah. Double called by Pachoy Baron in that rally. Dawn with a perfect first ball, which sets up Aragana once again. Some steam on that ball. Talk about being crafty in your attacks. Targeting that sharp cross court. Exactly to Mylene Paad. Variation in attacks, going for the drop ball, the long ball. Mars Alba constantly choosing the right strategy at the right time. They serve. But Joy was there. Good decision by Princess to set this. She gets it back. Now this is the side out that the Cherry Tigo crossovers need in order to gain that momentum boom. I think they need some some sort of spark plug here. Yeah, they're looking for combinations, different combinations. Coach has already appealed to them a couple of times. This is a team that has broken some streaks, some significant streaks here in the All-Filipino Conference, the last of which was Signal. They broke PLDT streak. They broke Petrogas four-game winning streak. And now they're in danger of losing their own, which stands at six. Not that time for Ara. Set was a little too tight from Mars Alba. Aragalan trying to go with that sharp cross court again. Now this is by far Cherry's most important game. You, you did mention earlier, they did break a lot of winning streaks by different squads, multiple teams, but this is- Good teams, very good teams. I mean, teams. Signal, PLDT, and Petrogas. Nothing to sneeze at. But this is the game yeah. that you want to win. Right, fake pass. It's, it goes back to Cherry. Jasmine will try to attack. Picked up by Alba, who's been solid on defense. One-handed dig. Chance ball for F2. 
Bars. Picks the middle. What a scramble that they win. Oh, Coach Kung Fu telling them to celebrate. To celebrate the point. He's trying to get some sort of motivation out of his squad. They're not smiling. The body language is a bit different on the side of Cherry Tiga, but a point is a point. Great defense by Jen Yerba. He's trying to reel out some positivity yep. for his squad. This was a, a 10 point lead at one point. Myla cuts the run. And now with Cherry Tigo, they're having a difficult time maintaining that momentum. I mean, Myla Pablo targeting the outside hands. She was going for it. Elevate that elevation there in that rally. Smart decision making by Mars Alba. Got a serve by Ara. Another out of system play. Slide by Dawn. Mylene. Too soft. There we go. Kind of Dan getting fired up here in this third set. Kill block by her. Let's see that replay. This set was a little too high for Myla Pablo. Running attack. Yeah. Gets away from her good friend, Mylene Pa, too slow to get to it. Well, this is the classic running attack that we've seen by Abby Marano, but we see the difficulty of the defense on the side of Cherry Tigo, especially in the long ball zones one and five, and especially in zone two with that sharp cross court. Two points away for F2. It bounces out. They are willing that ball out. 17-23, there is a ball in, ball out challenge. I believe the first challenge for F2 this game. Now, if they're successful in this challenge, they are just one point away from winning the set. This will be a crucial call for F2. Who are out of semifinal contention yep. already today with the four and five team standing. They're going up against a team that is at seven and one and armed with a six game win streak. Including some great come from behind victories. Now I I say that because if they lose this set, obviously they have to do it the hard way if they want to win. And if they want to earn that semifinal slot. A slow start in this set by the Cherry Tigo crossovers. But like you said earlier, Boom, they've been in situations like this where they are down. It's all about that end, end game. So we await the result of this. As we do, we'd like to remind you about the game earlier. Signal with a dominant three-set win against NextLed. That obviously brings their standing up to uh, seven and three, while Petrogas surviving the Akari Chargers. Boy, that fourth set, Jamie. We were between Petro and Akari was just yep. ultra exciting. And Petrogas hanging on, their player of the game. So happy to see her play well, Marion Buitre. That's right. Yeah. Getting a break. You know, those players who uh, her, Casey Galdones, getting a lot of court time for Coach Timmy. Good for them as they are outside looking in. They're still yes. in there in the fight for a semifinal slot. But they have had some tough losses here in this All-Filipino conference, talking about Petrogas. They had enough gas to win today Definitely. against Akari. Akari with its best conference so far also. I don't think they can, I don't think they're able to find the, the challenge here. Or the play, let's try to listen in. 
pag sa paa. So, pero ang tingin niya outside. So, ang napalagabas yun natin yung kukusit talaga. Hindi makita lang ngayon. So, wala, hindi, hindi mababawasan yung ano. Pero yung award ko, yung tawag ko, yun ang mangyayari. Oo, point namin. Oo, yun ang mangyayari. Probably gonna give it to Cherry. Abby appears. Abby agrees. They could not find a, uh, probably a faulty technical error when it comes to this. They, it sometimes happen, happens rather for a challenge system. Inconclusive, so point will go to Aya, who was the one who, who will be credited for that point. 17-23. Whoa, Ivy Luxina. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Nice pullback, nice form. Cox back the arm and gives F2 Logistics a set point. Seven of them after she buries this ball. Talk about wrist action and athleticism by Ivy Laxina. At the end, a lead in that block. A chance to counter here. You know they're going to go. The Ivy. Who gets the point as Jerry just scrambling all over the place here in sets two and three. And F2 Logistics gets their noses ahead and continues to play the spoilers role. That was a low set by Marsh Alba. Very easily could be read, could have been read by the Cherry Tigo crossovers. All right, 25-17, 25-11 for F2 after a 27-25 win by Cherry Tigo. We'll be back with our fourth set here at the Phil Sports Arena. seven-day premium access. Enjoy PBL along with highlights, updates, and original programs. So that's the score sets right now. 27-25 for Cherry Tigo. Great, exciting first set we had. We thought that was going to set the stage for what was going to come in terms of excitement. All the excitement belongs to F2 in the second and third sets. And, uh, well, they lead it here. And uh, Cherry Tigo needing a win to get themselves into the semifinals. You know what we uh, we haven't uh, realized also? That Shaya Dorador is not in the lineup of Cherry Tigo. They're missing Shaya. Key player. Key player. Who should be in the lineup, yeah, I would so say. We're going to try to find out uh, the issue with Shaya here as they go into a fourth set. Cherry in survival mode now just for this match. Take a look at the set three stats. In terms of attacks, you see that huge disparity. Eight on the side of Cherry Tigo and 16 by the F2 cargo movers. Opponent error is almost the same, but a lot of the attacks of Cherry Tigo are not being converted into points. Whereas you have Aragala, Ivy Laxina, Majoy Baron having great production. And I have to commend the first ball of the F2 logistics. Mars Alba not having a difficult time. You see them smiling, they're light. Yeah, they're very light, they're loose. They're playing around, but they want to win. Yep. Now we have the original first six here. For Coach Kung Fu. The princess will be included, though. As the remaining games, this is what we're talking about. The sister teams who are one and two. Cool Smashers and Choco Mucho Flying Titans, who I'm sure want to win. Definitely. I'm sure Creamline wants to stay 
undefeated yep. in Chocomucho with its best conference so far. Want to continue their winning ways. So this is uh, probably, if they lose this, it's a missed opportunity. But again, when we say that, we're not uh, discounting the fact that it's all because F2 is really playing very well. That's right, we've already seen much improvement on the side of F2, everything smooth sailing on their side. I mean, they've mastered the fundamentals, the basic skills. I mean, take a look at the attack by Majoy Baron. Not the strongest of attacks, but just going for that swipe. I did say this boom in the first set. When Majoy Baron is in the front row, you have to push your defense a little bit forward because a lot of her attacks are near the 10th line. Right, nine. right, right. Cherry is led by 10 points of Mylene Pat. A. Laure has six, EJ has nine, Karandang has five, while on the other side, it is Galang with 17, Laxina with 14. Baron, Baron actually has seven points on her own. I mean, a couple of blocks. That's right, I mean, against the Chocolate Mucho Flying Titans, none of None. None in double digits. Was it nine for Abby Marano? She was uh, the leading wow. scorer at nine. And then the rest of F2 struggled to come up with, with points. Got the leading score is now 18. Para, officially. Majoy. Mylene. Dawn saw that coming. Ivy, too soft. Princess was there to dig. Ea, delayed by the fingertips of Ivy. Ea, playing coverage. Pipe attack is sent back by Majoy for her eighth point. See the movements of the F2 cargo movers. Very fluid, no hesitation. The offense is easily read by the F2 cargo movers. We need some combination play, maybe, from the Cherry Tigo crossovers. The offense is being easily read. Nice receive. Karantang. Wow. <laughs> what a dig there by Ivy. Ea, double on her. Ivy again with a dive. Jen back sets it to Ea. Ara, long rally here. Mylene, off speed. Mylene will try again, but this time gets it off the left hand of Myla Pablo. Mylene pa, uh, Mylene pa trying to switch it up, went for that off speed attack. But you gotta give that power and touch the hands of Myla Pablo. A lot of, a lot of their off-speed mm. attacks and drop balls are easily read by the cargo movers. So Franny Reyes just informed us and found out that uh, Shaya is under the weather and unable to play today. But get well soon, Shaya. Just like uh, one of our uh, teammates, Ayel. That's right, Ayel. Get well soon, Ayel. <laughs> Just a couple of games. You miss her. Well, she's around, but she just can't talk. She just, <laughs> just can't. Don't talk, Ayel, please. <laughs> she's around, her voice is not. I keep telling her to whisper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good attack by Mylene Pan. The fans of Jerry Pico trying to applaud them yep. here and get some energy into this game. Now, if you're F2, you're rolling for two sets. Yes. You're not out of the woods yet. Yep. Yeah. Can't be too lax now. And you can't give an opening for Cherry Definitely. to re-inject some life. Oh, yeah. And that's what Aragala knows as a veteran. We're talking about the craftiness of her attacks. 19 points for her. Oh, and she forces it for that long ball. She sees there's a hole in the defense. Impressive. Just when we thought we would never see these attacks from Ara anymore. Another out of system. Another giveaway 
And another running attack from Abby. Mylene gets that to crawl through the net. Why not? The top of the net, scoring for her squad. <laughs> right, let's check in with Franny Reyes now. The key words to describe the cargo mover is lighter and looser. Jolina De La Cruz did tell me earlier, pabilisan lang ng adjustments ang game na ito. And clearly, that's something that they were able to do after the first set. Actually, in that first, that huddle after the first set, Coach Reg told them, alam nyo nang anong gagawin nyo, ha? And now, the only reminders that the coaches had for them was to go all out. Tapusan na natin to. They do not want to go to a fifth set. Download Filipinas Live and get free seven-day premium access. Enjoy live and on-demand PBL along with highlights, updates, and original programs. Let's send it back to Ara Galang serving. Five all here in the fourth. Eya. Eya has been checked by that double block. That's right. Ivy. That's going to go out. How big is the Shaya Dorador loss? Just not necessarily only points, but just from a rotational standpoint and an extra attacker. That's right. Shaya Dorador is greatly needed in today's match. Not only does she help Boom in the receiving portion, but in terms of actually getting points and getting that side out, she's considered one of the most crafty opens of the Cherry Tigo crossovers. I mean, very, really fooling the defense of her opponent and going for that drop ball, switching it up, off-speed attack. She's needed today. Hey, uh, right now with a sarcastic smile to herself. The number one server of the league has a couple of service errors here. Princess off the runway. Saved by F2. Bumaha balik lahat ng bole. Princess will try again. Ah, that elevation and yep. what you can do with it. <laughs> with that elevation, you go Those for arms. that. Yep. Simple drop ball. Aragala knew that was going to happen. Pauline Gaston with her team ahead 7 to 6. Ivy, hit out. Off the block, Ivy Laxina. Great production from Ivy Laxina this entire match, Boom. I mean, the consistency as well, the flight, the off-speed attack. Jared Digo, since that second set, has not been able to put two, three points, or right. three points, four points. Three. There was a run earlier, I think a 4 zero run. But they were down 10 at that uh, time. So they're looking for some, some sort of momentum here. That's right. And Trey Tigo is currently number five in the blocking. Yeah, just but behind that too, yep. honestly. That goes to show the great production of Woo! Mars Alba. Take a look at that set. She's already on the floor. Yeah, we haven't seen Calf today. It's all Mars as Majoy Baron scores her ninth point. No, actually, check that. Her 10th already. Mylene has to adjust. Found a donut hole. Got it big. He was almost there for that. He read that early on. Mylene is starting to crank it up here yep. in the fourth. 16 points for her. Cesar Robles. Broken play. Jazz to Aya. Aya Lare needs some steam coming from her. Powering through that block of F2. She did have a slow start in their last match against Sigma Blue Navy. She's warming up now in the set. Well, they'll need that as they have a two-point lead. That's the biggest lead of Cherry Tigo here. In the fourth, Aragalam still continues to have a great time here. Cherry Tigo having a difficult time blocking 
Adagala, I keep saying this boom, very crafty open spiker. I think she's the most versatile spiker to answer Franny's question earlier in the pregame. Just switching it up and really fooling the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Doing very well with yep. defense too. Lead is down to one. Got done with the slide. Picked up by Alba. Myla goes cross. Nerva saw that coming. Ea. The blocking again of F2 has played up a role here. That one sent back again. And Mylene comes up way short. Mylene Pad having a difficult time in that rally. Talk about great defense by Jen Yerva, though, in this sequence. Let's see what happened there. She was, first of all, she was far from the net yes. to execute something like that. Especially for a drop ball. Yes. Again, but the blocking, sending those balls back. Too, it's too low. low. Chance to counter. Aya sends it back with her tips. Back to Aya, double again on her. Chance ball. Then all, fourth set, Jasmine, combination play, picked up by Alba, who has been solid today. A again. There we go. I can feel her exhale after that point. <laughs> and Coach Kufu is like the last few plays has really just sat down on the bench but has been shouting. Yep. You can instructions, hear him. yeah. Stone is back. Karandang will serve. 11 10. The team that is looking for a semi final seat with a win. It's a good serve. Okay. Four touch. It's the first miss received by Ivy Laxina. Back to a two point lead. Great serve by Karanda. We didn't get the yep. that extra step. Forward, yep. yeah. Goes to Ivy again. Galang is out. Right idea. Three point lead. For Jerry, the biggest in this set, as we go to the technical timeout. Jump. Best cheer dancing competition in the country is back. Catch the UAP season 86 cheer dance competition December 2, 2 p.m. at the Mall of Asia Arena. Watch it live on One Sports UAP Varsity Channel and Filipinas Live. Some momentum here on the side of Cherry Tigo and the Libero Battle. Look at that. Wow. wow. <laughs> Already in double digits here, 22 digs by Jen Yerva and 26 by Don Ketindig. I have to give credit to both these squads. They are stabilizing the first ball and really reading the contact of the open spikers, the middle blockers and the opposite spikers. I mean, without them, their setters would have a difficult time running the offense smoothly. All smiles for Jen as her team is up. 13-10, but down a set. 1-2. Sakarandang. That's out. 
No touch. Four point lead. Now this is the momentum that we've been talking about, Boom. When Cherry T goes slowly creeping in in this fourth set. This is this is why volleyball is such a beautiful game. Yep. Yep. Just when you think things go one way, the other way. But wait. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. See every. Mylene, on the red, the right hand. That breaks a 5-0 run by Cherry Tigo. Especially with that first contact by Pauline Gaston, that coverage. I love how the coaches told Leia, don't chase that ball. <laughs> don't want to risk anything no, now, not no. right now. <laughs> Wait. Good receive by Jen. Pauline cannot get a point here. One more time for Ara. Jasmine to Ea. Hit out. Okay, well, this is the Cherry Tigo that we've been waiting to see boom. Slowly creeping in. Nine points for Ea. It's too strong. I mean, the, 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 the arms were solid for Ara, but you know, sometimes. Attackers like her and CC, right? Yeah, the impact of the ball changes the hit on the arm. Myla with the answer. Myla targeting zone six. Yeah, we haven't seen Jolina in a long yep, time. That's no? right. Since Myla came in. I mean, everything working in her favor, Myla Pablo. She is the vet open spiker of F2. Maybe this is the first six that Coach Reg believes will prevail. That's a good call. She's front row, Mars Alba. And it, it's a libero, oh, the, yes. This happened twice, twice. in the signal. Yes. <laughs> but Macabila this seems. rarely <laughs> happens. I, I, I remember saying that, that he I said, haven't seen that in years, in years and yeah. then I see it twice in a game, and now three times. <laughs> in one week. Yes. And Marsh Alba thought that the call was actually being for her, right. but... Dawn was inside. Good there reaction yep. by Pauline. Princess goes high. Dawn keeps it up. Pablo! Same spot! That zone six. Long ball attack. I mean, Myla Pablo will maximize on the blocking of Jasmine Amor here. Was late Jelena sure. will come in. Uh, sorry, partner for Myla Pablo. Jelena will serve. Gets the high and low five from yep. the bench. Jelena has been indisposed the last couple of sets, so let's see how she comes back here. She's also a good defender, obviously, for F2. She'll be in the back row. Dawn again! That defense by Dawn, usually when the, I mean, the ball is near the net, it's difficult to see where it will go. Well, F2 has not called the timeout in a long time. Coach Regine presses the button. Look at Dawn dive. Wow. Keep that in play. Just not enough for Abby to keep it up. Seventeen, thirteen. One more for F2. PLDT high-speed hitters with a big loss the last time out. Another five-setter there. Chocomucho just sure, rallying, yep. rallying yep. in the fourth and fifth set. I mean, talk about will. They will themselves back, and they will themselves into the semifinals at the expense of the high-speed hitters. F2 will have the assignment for high-speed next. Ivy will try again. My lead was there. Could not keep it up. 
Talk about adding variation to your attacks. Ivy Luxina targeting Pauline Gaston, switching it up and going to Mylene Paad. Mylene Paad not ready in that sequence. 14 serving 17. Princess solid on the first ball. What a slide there. Was that Abby? That was Abby. Jolina thought it was in. And then changes her mind. <laughs> it's called out. Everything going in their favor. I mean, Jasmine Nabor went for that one-two play on Abby Marano. Easily read. The lack of wrist action by Jolina De La Cruz. Service error. Expensive one. Yep. Especially for a team that is catching up here from a set standpoint. Inside the Phil Sports Arena, this is the third game of our triple treat on a Saturday. Boom Gonzalez, Jamie La Vittoria, Franny Ray is the one digging up some stories at courtside. Jen with the save. Ivy with a swing, sent back. Back set to Ara, single blocker. And Majoy just redirects that ball. Easy pick up by Majoy Baron. I mean, not too flashy with the attack, but just tipping it right over on the side of Cherry Tigo. You have to see Jen Yerba and Aya Laure bumping each other when it comes to the receive. Aya taking this one. Mylene. Yep. Gives him a three-point lead once again. Coach Kufu clapping from the side right here beside us. The fans of Cherry Tigo. Going for that down the line. Trying to will this team yep. back into this game, which they've done a couple of times in the conference. Can they do it again? This time on the side of Cherry. Now this is the first time that we've seen <laughs> yeah. F2 have some miscues. Cherry Tigo up by four. I mean, can they maintain this lead is the question. Or add on to it. That's right. Chess Robles. Safe serve. Faulty first ball, which means Oh! Miscue! What a spot by Jolina to send it in between Chess and Jen. This is the third time that we've seen attacks two from Myla Pablo in zone six. Now this third one from Jolina De La Cruz. Jolina goes to the bench as Myla goes to the front line to attack. Jolina did her job to serve and defend. And serve. Whoa! Got him down and Mylene Pat and Coach Kung Fu will just contemplating on a timeout. You know, what happened there, Jamie? This is actually a tricky play because Karen Dang is actually supp supposed to be going for that running attack, but in previous games we've seen Karen Dang with that differential set we've mm. seen, which I will explain after the timeout. Watch the PBA 3x3 second conference this year, Mondays and Tuesdays on One Sports, PBA Rush, and Filipinas Live, PBA 3x3, lakas ng tatlo. Yes, Jamie, you wanted to explain. That's right. We saw Mylene, pa Mylene Myla Pablo and Karandang see Fritz Gaston, father of Pauline Gaston, along with Marco Chairman. Sario. Chairman. <laughs> Chairman. Oh, can't forget that detail. <laughs> Pauline. But we saw earlier Karandang and Mylene Pablo, Mylene Paad rather, mm -hmm. bumping heads with that miscue. And Coach Kung Fu emphasizing the fact that it was a miscommunication yep. that gave those two points. 
Now three to F2. They're right in this match again, right in the mix of this set. They have two cargo movers. Down, yeah, down there as much as yep. five. Now behind only by one. And really targeting that long ball attack in that zone one and zone five. Robles having a difficult time in the defense. Chance of Cherry behind us. Robles again faulty on the first ball, but off the miss hit. Tied and Coach Kung Fu with practically called back to back timeouts here. Can he? No, he decides otherwise. I don't think so. Yeah. I thought he was going to press the button. <laughs> 20 all. They continue to attack Princess Robles. Aya puts some extra mustard on that one. Um, that's the first time that Aya Lara went for that down the line, targeting Mars Alba. Being hit by Aya Lara. Twenty-one twenty. We down the wire. We go. Ara goes high. Bump set to Mylene. Set back. Jasmine recovers. Aya produces. Off the block, Aya Lauris steaming up here in this set. Jasmine Nabor knows that she has the hot hands. I mean, Aya Lauris, height and might, athleticism, telling her teammates to calm down. It's not over yet. The rookie telling the veterans. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you listen to me. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm the queen. Laurie <laughs> again. This time's a bit too low and it's like way yeah. far from the net. That's right. But you can't fault her. That's, yep. that's how she is. She just swings away. Especially coming from that bump set, yeah. the angle. Yeah. I mean, out of system play here. Not the easiest of attacks. Not at all. But we've seen her make those. Every now and then, this is a one-point lead for Cherry Eagle. Nervous moments here. 21 serving 22. Yeah. Ara will shoot it to the other side. Princess. A again will roll it. And it still works. Smart. Smart, smart play by A. Lauren. She knew that the defense of F2 was pulled back. And Ivy Laxina cornering in that zone, in that zone one. Princess Robles a little shaky on her receive. Yes, yes. But they're being Going saved. Up. Yeah, yep. they're being saved here. They're up by two and two points away to force a fifth. That's outside. Coach will net touch challenge here. <laughs> so whether it's a real challenge or a timeout kind of challenge, well, it's all within the rules. See, people think I make this all up. Well, he admits it. Yep, he admits it. <laughs> but if they win a challenge, hey, that's like that set point. This is a very crucial call. Unlikely though, but he got what he wanted, which is to talk to them, settle them down because this is a crucial juncture Definitely. of the match. They've had problems with this, uh, with the challenge system, I think, today. Was there a touch? No net no. touch. No. No net touch. No net touch. Sumusugal si Coach Coach. 
<laughs> so he got his pseudo timeout. Yep. So let's see. Ara, 22, 23. Safe serve to Jen. As we say in Tagalog, Pumorsiento, Pumorsiento. They go to the girl who has delivered many wins for them. 14 points for Ea. EJ Lauder comes in. Mylene Pat will rest. Set point, three of them. Check that, two of them for Cherry Tigo who are trying to do it the hard way again. <laughs> Nice serve. Oh, good serve! Wow. And we wow. are going <laughs> to a fifth again for Cherry Tigo. Trying to come from behind. Maybe that's what they want, Jamie. I mean, they are known for these five set matches. A. Lauer with that ace serve on Aragalang. Winning this set when it matters now. F2 was up the first two sets. We'll take a break. 25-32 in the fourth. Fifth set it is. Download Filipinas Live and get free seven-day premium access. Enjoy PVL along with highlights, updates, and original programs. So here we go. Jerry Tigo had to come from behind to force a fifth against Petrogas. That was the one that cut the winning streak That's right. for Petrogas. Jerry Tigo did the same. Come from behind against Signal. That cut the winning streak of Signal. Now they're trying to protect their own and more importantly, get to the semifinals. And they were, again, really, I hate to use the, the term, but I keep using it with them. They look dead in the water again. And then Kung Fu, I don't know what kind of magic Kung right. Fu has. M maybe it's the voice, maybe it's the beard. Maybe. <laughs> the motivational timeout yeah. is very effective for his squad. I mean, Aya Laura having most of the production in the last few sequences. We did say she was quiet in this set, but when she ne when she's needed, when push comes to shove, I did mention this in the pregame, Aya Laura delivers. Now take Coach, a look, Coach very Kung even. Coach also delivers. That's right. <laughs> with her, with his pleas. That's the word that I think of when I yeah. think of his coaching sometimes. He's, ple he's pleading to, to his team. And he used that challenge, he did admit, he did. as a timeout. <laughs> Hey, within the rules. Okay, well, the Cherry Tigo crossovers are not new to this type of situation. Yep. So F2 after looking very good in sets two and three, just a little wrinkle in that fourth. Now, fifth set, nobody's... Uh, two, two. D d yeah, d does anybody have any kind of advantage with the way the game has gone, Jamie, in your business, in your eyes? Well. Based off the fourth set of F2, they did look a little bit lax, and the Cherry Tigo crossovers were maximizing on that, especially with Aya Laure. Have to give credit to Jen Nerva. We haven't talked about her this entire match. Very steady defense, stable first ball. 
I mean, we did expect this boom. Yeah, I, and I said, and I said that they looked like they lacked a sense of urgency in the sec second Alert, and third yep. sets, right? But come alive in the fourth when it matters. All right, so let's see. Set number five. And Cherry Tigo with a chance to counter courtesy of Mylene yes. Pat, and they get the first point. Mylene Pat, happy with her attack going down the line. Happy with her 18 points, too. Yes. Jasmine Nabor, we haven't very seen, calm. Yeah, we haven't seen a Mylene Pat game like this yep. for a while. Service Nabor. Open to Ara. Set back by Karandang. Back set to Ivy. Talk about wrist action in that rally by Ivy Laksina. You see Karandang a little bit frustrated with herself. The block was a little bit too off the net. First to 15. With another BVL five setter. At the Field Sports Arena. Nice serve. Jen again with such a good first ball. Myla. Mylene, wow. smart move yep. by Mylene yep. Bad. As we turn it over to Franny for this report from Cherry Tigo. Boom and Jamie, let me paint you a picture of last Tuesday night. <laughs> the Please Cherry do. Tigo crossovers came back in the fourth set, <laughs> welcomed the fifth set with open arms. They are up for the challenge, and coming into this set, they are fired up. If there's one thing they repeated last Tuesday night, it was puso, puso, laban lang. They want this match, they want this challenge, and they will not go down fight without a fight. Now, this report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app. Get free seven-day premium access. Enjoy live and on-demand PBL along with highlights, updates, and original programs as we send it back to the challenge of the crossovers. <laughs> the coaching staff. There's a lot Asia. going on. Yeah, I know. Coach Yanni Fernandez with us. And a block touch challenge, All right? It's a very crucial one because, again, this yes. is the fifth set. Let's listen in. Oh, no block touch. Oh, See, that complete change in demeanor of the Perry <laughs> Tigo crossover. A counter, a counter challenge here on a net okay. touch. Okay, this is within the rules. <laughs> Only the fans could hear what Coach Fuku is saying. <laughs> But it is within the rules, yep. you can do that. Counter challenge if it's a, uh, as long as it's uh, done right away. Yep. Fifth set. Those of you just joined us, the tight first set that went the extension. And then second and third set. Was a dominant F2 set, fourth set. Jerry Tigo crawling to a win. Fifth set now. Okay, let's look at this. No net touch either. Um, clean, clean blocking by Karandang. No block touch, no net touch. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Kung Fu requesting for two points. The challenge is unsuccessful. Coach Regina is not amused. <laughs> 3-1. Ira goes high, hands. Jasmine. Jen with coverage. Aya asking for it, but she rolls it to the other side. Smart because she did not get the takeoff that she yep. wanted, Jamie, so she adjusted 
her approach and her hand. Take a look at the location of that set, completely far off the net and yep. inside. I mean, that could have been easily read by Mars Alba, but Ayla Laure finally smiling <laughs> in this fifth set. Sweet 16 points for her to back up Mylene Pats 19. Sent to the tape. Momentum killer, isn't it? It's such a momentum killer. You earn that point, that hard earned point, followed by a missed serve. You're halting your own momentum. 2 4. Oh, in the middle. Good reaction by Alba. Alba has been on point. But okay. this is wide with no touch. Alba, yeah, Alba has been so solid yep. in her defense. Very consistent. You see Galang trying to go for that zone five, that long ball attack. I believe this is her first one of, especially in this set of a attack that goes outside. Underhand set. Somebody touched touch. the net. Oh, that's unfortunate Pauline. for Cherry. Pauline. Yep. Scratched. <laughs> Sorry, Very crucial, man, yep. It's a bit because that was a chance. Because they were broken play on Barasa F2. The lead is still with them, though, as you look at the 22 points for Ara tonight. Aya put, you see her put some extra in wow. there, but Don keeps it alive. What will Jasmine do? Back to Aya with Low. a push. It goes to F2. My, sorry, Myla, too close to the end. And Mylene sends it back home. I remember in the fourth set, boom, Mylene Pad had a difficult time blocking Myla Pablo. I think it was too three. low. Yeah, I think it was also too close for Myla. Yep. For her liking. Too tight. Six serving three. Jen with a dolphin dive. Oh, Abby Barano with a nice swing there, squeezing it through the block. Beautiful back quick attack by Abby Marano. But prior to that sequence, Nabor went for that one-two play easily read by Don. Four, six. Princess continues to struggle with her receive. And that's what happens. Talk about composure and being poised. Mylene Pa'ad a little too short in that sequence. Jen is telling Princess, Ako na. You gotta help her out. As Pablo is targeting her, and Jen gets it. Ea, one blocker. That's always dangerous when yep. you have Ea only with one blocker. Jasmine Nabor knows that she has the hot hands. Well, might as well maximize her before she heads to the service line. And Aya will serve, as you mentioned. Princess will go in front. The board has her and Pauline. That sails out. Adrenaline rush. <laughs> she can't believe it. <laughs> Look at her. Looking for an Outside. explanation. <laughs> they moved the port. <laughs> they moved the lines. <laughs> Six serving seven. As exciting and as tight as can be. Princess. Yes. Robles on that triple block. Smart play, being creative in that attack. Pauline Gaston being that decoy in that rally. Six points for Robles, who had 18. Against galleries the last time out. Over. Another one. Ivy swings away. Ivy Luxina going for that long ball attack. That cross court. Pauline not ready for that defense. 
Talk about coverage by Don. Oh my God, the reaction. It's amazing. Princess flies. Karandang in the middle. Open to Ivy. Pick up. Princess asking for it. Cross court. Makandili keeps it up. Ivy swings away. Jen does the same. Princess again. High hands. This is what she's known for. Off the block attacks by Princess Robles. 9-7. Wow. Talk about hang time. Hang time. She's actually early in her approach. Yes. But she adjusted. Up by two. Ivy from the right pin. Challenge. What is this? A floor touch? Oh, net a net touch. touch. Okay. And I think Robles admits to it. Fifth set. Up for grabs. Anybody's ball game. Look at this. Uh, that's right. Yeah, that's her princess. She did yep. say she admitted. She admitted, yep. Forearm, finger, giving a point. Ref two. So let's see. Buxina, eight serving nine. Princess with a hit out. Well, the attacks of Princess Robles Boom, not too flashy, not over the top. Just checking out on the block of F2. So a good successful rotation in the sense that Aya went to the back. They still maintain the two-point lead. Yep. Now Princess serves. Aya goes in front with that two-point lead. Princess Robles. Ten serving eight. Now she will go back to defending. Yes, sir. Too low. Too low. Too low, meaning that Aya is a big guy. Yep. Nine. Two, two. The set of Nabor was too low for Aya Laure. Nine serving ten. Shola Alvarez will come in to serve for Majoy. Jessima, KKD, I'm sure on the edge of their seats, just like we all are. Just like us. <laughs> on another five-set adventure for a semi-final seat. That's out. Very crucial. Huge, yep. expensive error. Going in as a serving specialist. Happens. That is your role, yep. Happens. Eleven serving nine. Safe serve by Sa. Ara. This time, Princess up for it. Aya, better set for her. That's the one she wants. Three point lead for the crossovers, forcing the hand of Coach Regine.
Capitan Abby asking for mental toughness here as they're down three. Cherry three points away from a semi-final seat. And practically uh, a new team on its second conference. Yep. That's not bad at all as you're fighting for a semi-final seat. <laughs> Invitational conference. Now the All-Filipino. Myla. They all back up here. Jazz will go to A again. Aya delays her approach. Good coverage there by Karandang. Abby asking for it. Robles is there. Mylene with the other side. Fires a bullet. No touch. But I think... Yep. Coach Kung Fu. Coach Kung Fu will call for a block touch challenge. Challenge number two. Block touch. <laughs> yes, Jamie. <laughs> Strategic move yet again. None. None. See an attack. Two point lead. Yep. He has one more challenge. Talk about uh, Coach Kung Fu asking. 12 10. 10 serving 12. Yeah. <laughs> Some heat on that ball. Yes. yes. Now that's the set that Aya Laure likes. Not too far off the net and not too close on the net. Colleen Gaston being that decoy in between the hole of the block of F2. A little strut after. Wow. She's impressed with her own swing. 13 yep. 10 double sub for Coach Regine for the first time. Calf and Joy Takoron coming in. Very risky move, boom. Very cold and risky, but Coach Regine knows best for F2. Great serve. Match points. And a shot. Or make that a slot waiting in the semifinals for the crossover. This girl leading the parade with 20 points. 14-10. And a chance to counter. Gaston with a drop. And Pauline sends Cherry Tigo crossovers to the semifinals. Another come from behind classic by Cherry Tigo, who just always want to do it the hard way, don't they, Jamie? Cherry Tigo does like these five set matches. I mean, Colleen Gaston ending it with that delicate drop ball on the cargo movers. What a battle! That's the final score and the confirmation of the Cherry Tigo win. We'll take a break and we'll be back to wrap this baby up. Jump.
back inside the Phil Sports Arena. And that is the big score. 27-25, 11-25, 17-25, and then a 25-22 fourth set. And then a 15-10 fifth set. Hey, download Filipinas Live and get free seven-day premium access. Enjoy PBL along with highlights, updates, and original programs. Cherry Tigo with the win. And our best player is sitting pretty beside Freddy Reyes. Phil Sports Arena presenting your third semi-finalist of the All-Filipino Conference, the Cherry Tigo Crossovers! Of course, that win was not possible without our best player of the game, Jen Yerba! Jen, I have to ask, hindi pa kayo napapagod sa five sets? Um, actually, I anticipated this game. Parang sabi ko, um, yesterday, I know F2 has nothing to lose. And they're just going to play their game. And today, it's going to be um, yung, yung pressure na sa amin lahat. And I know na, I, um, naniwala lang ako sa mga teammates ko na kahit anong um, ibibigay ng F2, um, lalaban kami. I know earlier in the dugout, you guys claimed it. So how does it feel since the 2022 Reinforced Conference, your first year in the PVL to be part of the semifinals? Um, napakasarap po sa pakiramdam kasi pinaghirapan po ng bawat isa. And I believe then na hindi namin ito makukuha kung hindi rin sa effort ng bawat isa. The, our coaches, the management, yung mga teammates namin na nasa labas. And yun, lahat kami nasa loob. Yun po. Thank you so much. Of course, we heard the chants of the fans here in the arena. Please greet them and please greet our fans to come to our games in Iloilo. Ilo. Yeah. Um, thank you po sa lahat na nandito. Sumusuporta po sa Cherry Tigo Crossovers. And to Ate Shaya, kung nasa, na nasa bahay. Hello, Ate Shaya. Um, happy birthday, Ate Sarina. And, and sa lahat po ng mga Ilongga, sa mga, sa family namin, um, so support, ah, uh, invite ko po kayo to watch our game in Iloilo on December 2. See you po. Thank you so much, Jen. Thank you so much, Crossovers. Again, welcome back to the semifinals. Boom, Jamie, take it away. Oh, that celebration is warranted. Yeah. Franny, thank you very much for all the work you do, including, of course, the official announcement of Cherry Tigo being part of the semi-final cast. Jen Yerva was solid. I mean, she stabilized the first ball. And also, in terms of digging, great production, allowing Nabor <laughs> smooth sailing on the side of Cherry Tigo, especially in the fourth and fifth set. So, Creamline, Choco Mucho, Cherry Tigo, we are waiting for one more um, traveler for That's that right. semifinal bus that we're all trying to get to for the PVL. All right, speaking of, let's move on with our schedule. On Tuesday, here, Phil Sports Arena, Farm Fresh Foxies, Galleries, Tower, High Risers, Choco Mucho versus Jer Floor Defenders, and the two of the three finalists, semi-finalists so far, the Creamline Cool Smashers, Cherry Tigo Crossovers, in the last game of our triple header, November 28th, Tuesday, here at the Phil Sports Arena. And uh, wow, what can you say so far? Three down, one more to go, Jamie. I mean, kudos to the F2 cargo movers for fighting it out until the fifth set, but great collaborative effort by the Cherry Tigo crossovers. They are known for improving and doing well in the five set matches, and you can see it in their next game. Let's see it. All right, today, Signal wins against Next Led. Petrogas also prevailing over Akari and Cherry Tigo enters the semifinals versus F2. Goodbye and good night, everyone.